So we're actually up here in Louisville, Colorado in the Pro's Closet warehouse, which is pretty cool. They sell a lot of bikes here. Um, and last year, the Pro's Closet approached another Boulder area-based company, Mosaic Cycles, about making like a run of custom Mosaic like TPC bikes. And then I came in and was like, hey, can we do a Radivus Edition too? And so this is the byproduct of a lot of conversations about parts availability, uh, design intention, and how we were gonna like build these bikes up. So you're sitting there with a blank slate, trying to figure out like what's gonna inspire this project. And I looked at the commonalities between the founder of the Pros Closet, Nick Martin, and myself. Well, we both like Land Cruisers, so that's an easy one. We really just sat down and looked at the design of that like kind of iconic Japanese 70s, 80s colors and graphics and knocked out like two TPC edition bikes that are really clean, kind of like what Mosaic is known for. Really sharp lines, beautiful paint, perfect Shimano build. Like these bikes are dialed. And then the Radivist is kind of like the, the weird like rock crawler version of that classic SUV. The goal was to build a super light bike with materials that would last, reducing the amount of carbon fiber. I really like aluminum wheels on rigid bikes. They offer a little bit of flex. They don't really beat you up. So we've got some aluminum I-9 wheels, these tie bars, steel fork, tie frame. This bike is meant to, to like outlive your carbon gravel bike. It's meant to kind of go anywhere you want to take it. And it's only 22 pounds as it sits here for a size 58, which is really, really light. So even if you do hit a rock garden that you don't feel comfortable riding on a rigid bike, when you shoulder it, you're not gonna throw your back out. <laughs> so I really like the way titanium frames ride with steel forks. It's kind of the perfect combination. And you don't really see it a whole lot. Like most people put a carbon fork on their titanium bike because they think it's gonna be lighter, but nothing is gonna ride as well as a steel fork. It's gonna flex whenever you hit washboard or like any kind of roots. It's kind of like built-in suspension. Uh, same with these Doom Bars, which are actually titanium. So I got Keaton from Doom Bars down in Albuquerque to bend us up some titanium bars. So titanium bars, titanium seat post, titanium frame, steel fork, shorty little Paul stem, 880 millimeter wide bars. And when you load it up with all your camping stuff, it, it's like the, it's, flexes in all the right ways. It's more of like a compliance. And I hate that word because the cycling industry has beaten it to death over the years. This is real compliance. You know, it's one thing to design a bike and then just to put it out in the world, but I really wanted to test it out. And so we built up four of them and went and did a photo shoot out on the North Rim of the Grand Canyon on a trail called the Rainbow Rim Trail. It's about 26 miles of single track that snakes its way out across five points that jut out over into the Grand Canyon. You're at 8,000 feet. So you're up pretty high. In the summer, it's actually like still pretty cool. But yeah, we just got four of my buddies and we just went out and did these, you know, took these bikes out as an overnighter, loaded them up, water, all of our sleeping stuff, our food, just, you know, anything creature comfort you would take on an overnighter. You know, ripped down some fire roads, climbed some steep single track, enjoyed the weekend, and just really put these bikes to the test. Living in Santa Fe, we're pretty close to Canyon Country, and so we spend a lot of our spring weekends out either backpacking or bike touring or just sometimes just riding mountain bikes out, out in Canyon Country. Uh, and last year we were taking a break, like hanging out on this big piece of slick rock, and then all of a sudden monsoons came and just hammered us. But in those few initial drops, I looked over at the rock we were sitting on and saw this pattern, and I was like, man, that would make a really cool spin on like the classic rain camo design. So our graphic designer, Kerry Carmine, came up with this pattern. And uh, as you can see, Nick and the team at Rogue Panda really killed it because it looks awesome. Each of the four bikes that we used on our Rainbow Rim trip are gonna be sold as certified pre-owned bikes through the Pros Closet. And only those four will have these frame bags. So it's like you buy a used brand new bike and then you get a frame bag in for free. I'll even throw in some Grand Canyon dust for you. If you wanna learn more about this bike, if you wanna see our trip reports, you wanna see the route we took, if you wanna see the TPC editions, you can find all that at theradivist.com. If you like what we're doing over here, please like and subscribe.